Hey everybody. Today we're talking about one of my favorite little R packages, the here package. Even if you're still pretty new to R, you've probably already run into a situation where you had a markdown document or script where you wanted to import a file and you just couldn't get R to figure out where that file was. The here function within the here package is going to get us around a lot of those headaches. This is all going to build on a conversation from my last video on projects. If you're not already using our studio projects, you should do so, right? You should get started with that right away. I'll throw a link to that last video up top. So let's go to the project that I create in that video, sample project, and open it up. It's a very simple project. There's not really much in there right now. Right now, all that exists in it is um, a data folder that has the scooby.xlsx dataset in it. Let me start up the script. What I'm really gonna wanna do here is to get that scooby.slsx file to import in a way that will be reproducible from one machine to the next. So let's uh, load up the here package. If you haven't already installed that, you'll need to do so with install.packages parenthesis quote here before this command will work. Notice the output there. It immediately tells me that my file paths are going to start at users Eloise desktop sample project. So that's the location of the project that I'm working in. If I were to take this project and send it to you, take this code and send it to you, you would get something different here. So let's get the file path for the scooby.xlsx um, file that I need. File is going to be generated by the here function within the here package. And the way the here function works is that it starts in this root directory right there that uh, was identified when we libraried this package. And then we work from there up. So in this case, within that sample project root directory, we have the data folder. So quote data is the next one. After that, we just have the file itself, scooby.xlsx. And so that's going to be the last piece of, or the last in um, argument in my here call. So scooby.xlsx. And let's go ahead and import that. Let's use the read Excel function in the read Excel package. So library read Excel. And let's call this file scoobs read Excel. And we can just do file. The path is made for us. And we should be able to see it here. There it is. Just like we would hope. So um, this read Excel command is not particularly complicated in this case. The real advantage here is that this is going to work whether it's on my machine or yours, whether it's a Mac or PC. It's going to get us around a lot of different issues concerning file paths as well as operating systems. I encourage you to start using this one right away. 